So let's officially, now that we've got the fully functioning app the way we want it, uh, let me come here and I'll just look up the official documentation so that I can have this in the description as well. Um, it's called EAS Build is the new way to build apps for Expo. It used to be Expo Build iOS, or like I'll come over here and show you. And this will work for the rest of 2022, but in 2023, this will no longer work. Um, so the old way was to say Expo Build iOS or Expo Build Android. And this would get your, um, your app built for you. And this will still work in 2022, but in 2023, this will no longer work. This won't work anymore. Um, so instead, you should be using EA, EAS Build. Um, so, uh, and it's, it, it's pretty easy. It's, the, it's saying it's the next generation of Expo Build. So we'll just go through this to, together. So it says creating your first build. I'll click there. Um, and actually I'll, I'll make this a new page so that I remember to tell myself to link to this page. Uh, but so it says step one is to, we have to install EAS CLI. So I'm gonna NPM install this, uh, open up a terminal. This is a global install. So you can just open up a terminal, terminal place it there, install it. Um, and then it says, log in to your um, Expo account. So you'll need an Expo account if you haven't created one already. Oh, first off, before we move on, move on, if it gives you all these warnings, again, for Mac, you should say sudo npm install something globally. For, for Windows, it's a different command, but basically you're having to say, this is the administrator saying, install this. Um, and then I have to type in my computer password, uh, which you don't see it because it won't show it on the screen, but you'll have to type in your password. And then the next phase is you can just say EAS login. Um, I, I think uh, if you have not created a, uh, an Expo account yet, even if you do this, it'll let you create a new account. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, because I think I might be logged into. Okay. All right. So this is my very first time logging into EAS. Um, I'm, I'm logged in with a different account and I want to make sure I'm logged in with the right one. All right. And so I'm logged in now. Um, so it says it. Uh, run EAS build configure within your project. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this, come back to my project. I'll paste that there. So you want to make sure you're inside of your project whenever you do this. Um, and then it has instructions for if this is iOS or Android. Um, I'm going to say Android because I have an Android phone and I want it to put it directly onto my phone. Um, so I'll say Android, but if you want to do it for iOS, you can say iOS. Um, and let me see here. Your project is ready to build. Okay. So it now says it's ready to build. I can run EAS build when I'm ready to create my first build. Let me just make sure it, that's what it tells me to do over here too. Um, all right. And so the easiest way to try out ES build is to create a build that you can run on your Android emulator. Uh, it's quicker than uploading it to the store. So let me just try copy pasting EAS build, see what happens. Since I selected uh, Android a second ago, it says you can now just say e EAS build. Um, so I'm going to just go EAS build. Okay. And I'm going to select the platform Android. So here you would type in your package name. The way to do this is normally with like a website, it'd be like www. 
whatever your domain name is .com. with uh, apps it's normal to start it out by saying com dot uh, whatever your your name is and uh, and then whatever your app is so I'm gonna say uh, just I'm going to try out com.startupnotes.app. Um, you can create, name this whatever you want, but it has to be unique or it won't work. Um, and so I'm hoping nobody's used this name before. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, use that. And then you can just say yes to all the rest of, of these things. I'm going to just say yes. All right. And then from this point out, um, it gives you a link that you can click on. Uh, and that link will show you where you are, your uh, progress is, what's happening. And what's going to happen is, uh, I'm going to exit out of this, is once this is done, you can just wait. Um, there will be a link that you can click to uh, download your APK file that you can then use to upload to the, the Google Play console. All right, it looks like it's finished. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this link here. Um, if you want to publish this to the App Store, you could just go ahead and open up this link. And I'll go ahead and just do that, actually. I'll open up this link. And it'll automatically download the app uh, to your, your computer. And then once you create your Google Play developer account, you can just drag and drop this into that account and click submit. It's, it's that simple. If you like this video, this is part of a much larger tutorial, which can be found right there. You'll like that one. Also, if you are interested in push notifications, NativeNotify.com is actually a push notification company. Uh, you can actually have push notifications set up in under a minute using NativeNotify.com. This video right here shows you how we did it. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. We come out with videos all the time. And uh, if you like this video, please like this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.